Hey everybody, welcome back. I haven't done a video, uh, uh, Dad's Delight video ever, and we haven't done, Henry and I haven't done a science-based video and I think, uh, I don't know, about a year. It's been some time. Anyway, so we're gonna do one today about uh, flowers and plants. And so, as a backstory, uh, in early January, uh, my girlfriend gave me a bouquet of flowers. I love flowers. Um, pro tip for women, find yourself a dude that likes flowers. It's a, it's a thumbs up situation. And so she gave me these the first week of uh, January. Uh, I believe it was like the first, second, or third, um, right at New Year's. And I have kept them alive and going and looking beautiful and in my home. Um, all this time. Today is February, I don't know what the date is, 7th or 6th, something like that. And um, so I decided to break them down, break down the bouquet. I had them in a vase this whole time with, uh, I have a technique that I use vodka mixed in the water. The vodka uh, cuts bacteria and prevents its growth. It also kills the insects um, that come on the plant when you receive them from the florist. And we'll put up some, some stills. There are insects that are in the bottom in the water that, that are dead, and uh, they're aphids and etc. But nonetheless, they died from, um, from vodka. But the, the plants um, have a naturally extended life using this method, um, as, long, as well along with uh, either some plant food or just some simple sugar, uh, table sugar. And uh, so today, this morning, I decided, okay, I'm gonna break them down, separate them. And I took the dead material, the, this is biomass, biological mass. I took the dead material, put that aside. I've already clipped the, at the ends on some of, these, uh, some of these plants. I'll clip some more. Uh, what you do is you just cut at an angle. For men out there that don't know, just cut at an angle like this. So you get a, see that? And so that way you get what's called capillary action. And I'm gonna put that air in my biomass pack. Let's cut them at the same length. There we go. All right. So in fact, these, those are dead for sure. But I'm still gonna, I'm gonna save them. I'm gonna make an arrangement with these because it still has color and it has texture. Whereas these over here, they're still alive. They're dying, but they are still alive. So we're gonna, we're gonna revase those. And then these uh, roses, they're pretty much dying. So I'm gonna take the heads and make an arrangement out of those. But for this video, we're gonna focus on making Use, making use of this biomass here. Oh, and then these greenery that were also there. And these are very alive. These are, these are very hardy. They will last for a long time. Again, if you just keep them watered. Um, I did spray them all down earlier when I was in the sink um, just to get any dust and, and uh, aphids and mites off of them. And uh, so we're good there. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do with this is biomass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, toss it in here and just, there we go, stuff that down. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of sugar in here. I'm gonna mix it up, put it in my mixer and just make a mass out of it. And then with this mass, I'm going to end up creating basically a fertilizer. Here I've got a glass of, uh, this is skin from uh, from a, uh, oh darn, what are these called, Henry? Clementines. Clementines, thank you. From a Clementine. So these are just like two or three Clementines in here. When I eat them, I save the skin. Mmm, that scent is, is great. So I, what, what I do is I save the skin when it's fresh, put it in a glass, and you can put this in any room, and it just gives off a scent um, in your space. And then after about two or three or four days, it dies down. It's due to the oils that are on the skin but I'm gonna to toss a few in here as well. I'm just gonna pour a liberal amount of sugar. 
There we go. Then I'm just gonna use a little bit of the plant water, which again is water, vodka, and the plant's own, the plant's own uh, excretions. Cap this off. Get my blender. I might have to put more water in there, but let's see how it goes. A little bit is, a little bit goes a long way. All right. All right, so we're all done. And now that mass Looks like uh, looks like salsa, but we're gonna make it for for plants. Well, not salsa, more like hummus. But this will be for our plants. There we go. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is with this plant, which has been we've had this one for ages. I don't even know how many how many years old it is. I'm gonna take it out. And the reason I'm going to rehome it is the, the uh, base is well too small now. And as you can see, the it's starting to get this white material that's on there, it's bacteria. And so we're just going to break this down a little bit. I'm just gonna use a, a fork and just break down the dirt and then I'm gonna put this inside of, with the dirt inside of this larger container and that will be its new home. Just give me one moment, I'm gonna, I forgot to go and rinse this off. Put this there so it doesn't tip over, there we go. All right, so I rinsed this out, now it's nice and clean and, and clear and I'm going to take a plant, I've got a plastic knife and I'm just going to gently chip away at some of the dirt there. There we go. And it's pretty compact in there. It may not come apart that easily. Yep, it may not come apart that easily, and that's okay. All right, yeah, it's not gonna come apart. That's okay, I'm not gonna force it. So I'm just gonna place this down here A little bit of my biomass as a base. All right, spread it around. There we go. And then I'm gonna pour some more on top. There we go. Like that. Now we've got it. New nutrients. Go. New nutrients for this plant. We're making use of the expired biomass from that bouquet that I was given. And it's just taking what's old and what's what be perceived to be useless and making use of it again. It continues to live just in another form as the same matter. There we go. And it will help this plant to continue to grow. Look at that. Yeah. All right. That was simple and easy. Put that one away. And it has a nice smell, by the way. Hmm. Henry, can you smell that? That is nice. Yeah. So it's, yeah, smell that. <laughs> so it's, it's a, 
<laughs> Dude. It's an, it was a little bit strong, but I, I, I like it. But uh, no, it's, it's a nice scent. This one was strong, this one not so much. So that's gonna give off a nice scent throughout the house. All right, so easy. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is, I've got some, these are some vases that I had set up. Um, this goes back to 2019. I had put these together in the fall for uh, Halloween. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put this, this old mass. I had had these in here along with flowers. So I was putting flowers in here and then the, like this is more obvious here. So I was putting either flowers in here or I would put a candle in here in the center and light it and it looked really nice. But these have obviously gotten uh, old and I gone outside to pick these up outside from, uh, from the trees. They had fallen off of the trees. So we're just gonna pour all this, and there's a piece of plastic. Pour all this in there. And on the surface, it looks dead. It looks useless. But we're gonna make something out of it. All right, so stick my hand in there and just grab all these out. Clementine, pour a little bit more of this plant food water. All right. Yep. All right. So I filled this one. This one's about a half full with water. The one I did before was about a, about a third. So this. Uh, let's see how this comes out. It's gonna be more watery. The other one was denser in biomass. This one's just dead flowers, or I'm sorry, dead leaves. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put the sugar in. this in here. All right, here we go. And yep, this one's a, a lot more liquidy. All right. And the best part is it, this won't require, when I put uh, another plant, when I go to put this on a plant, I won't need to water it for a long time because it's already uh, a fluid. All right, so I'm gonna put this away, store it for later, just in an old bin. There we go, put the cap on it, and I'll just toss this in the refrigerator. And just let it sit, so that way it doesn't continue to, to break down. Cold will retard the breakdown. All right. Next is what to do with this with this greenery. Let's make an arrangement real quick. All right. So just looking at stuff I've got around the house. I've got a lot of vases. I like vases. Um, different shapes. Different textures. And uh, let's take this one. Yeah, that one's the clearest and cleanest at the moment. All right, so what we'll do is for visual effect, let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna 
cut so that the heads of these are below the rim. I'm gonna cut so that the heads are below the rim for visual rather than, rather than just standing out. So I'm gonna have them down like this. I'm gonna use the base as a rough measure. And since these are already dead, since these are already dead, I don't have to concern. There we go, like that. I don't have to concern about uh, cutting at an angle. All right. All right. Save that biomass for later. Save that guy for later as well. All right, so what we'll do here is I'm going to snip and arrange the rose heads, rose petal heads in the base. All right, so we're done here. So what I've done is I've clipped, I've clipped all the stems off of the roses and basically made a stack with the texture, the faces pointing out. See that? So it's a nice visual. And then I'm going to see about, I'm not sure, see about now. Yeah, if I put these in here with the stem, the stem is visible through the glass and I don't like that as an aesthetic. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna clip these stems off. And notice I'm saving all my stems that goes in my biomass. And I'm just going to, there we go, mix that in there like that. All right, so for this particular project, here we go like that. The, using the stems just doesn't work out visually, but in others, I do, I do leave the stem there. Go like that. Okay. And I'm just sticking them down anywhere that I see a pocket, an opening, like that. And then I'm going to pour the rest on top here and here and this is art so there's there's no wrong way to do it it's just uh whatever appeals to your own eye and what seems interesting to you it's going to be in your home like that some on the top. Okay. And this is still, by the way, giving off a nice fragrance. It's a really nice smell. So wherever you put this, especially in a smaller space like a bathroom or in your bedroom, you're going to get a nice aroma coming out of here. All right. And right there. All right, so you see that? That's a good contrast of the crimson against the marigold, the yellow. Put all this off to the left or to the right to, that'll get processed as well. All right, put that outside. Okay, so now we have these remaining. I've got this. I want to give a shout out to my neighbor, excuse me, to my neighbor Northampton Wool. Excuse me. I want to give a shout out to my neighbor Northampton Wool. Uh, they will every so often put out vases next to the city recycling bin for glass and uh, I swoop them up. I've been, <laughs> I've been like this one most recently it's it's basically it's an it's an apple. 
and uh, in, a in the shape of a jug. It's, I like it. I'm like, whoa, that's a nice find. So I grab these up and sometimes I'll like this one and this one, this one. I think I bought that one. But this one, it's a, it's a spiral flute looking vase. I grab them up and bring them home until I can use them. So I've been looking at this one. It was, it was put out uh, just after New Year and I've been waiting to make use of it. So we'll do something like this. Let's just see how that looks. Maybe I'll combine it with a with the white. Get another purple. There we go. All right. And then we'll put this all together as a group. Within. Yeah, so that'll look nice. And I'm gonna fill this with water. Yeah, I think that'll look real nice actually. So I'll fill this with water. And again, a little bit of vodka and continue this on. All right, so just give me one moment and let's rock that out. I am not gonna reuse the plant water that I used before for this. You want it to be brand new, fresh and clean. So um, first, I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar in there. Again, it's a nutrient for the plants. And I'm gonna get my This is vodka that I bought. It's been almost 10 years now. It's uh, nothing special. This is uh, just basic, the cheapest vodka that I could find that was at the grocery store. And it's been dedicated to plants. And you can see it's almost it's almost gone. So I've, this has worked on a lot, a lot of plants. A lot, a lot of flowers rather. So I'm just going to, a little bit goes far. That's all you need. And now fill this with water. All right. So I filled it all, almost all the way to the top. Uh, these plants, even though they're dying, they remain thirsty. And the reason that it appears grayish right now is because it's a mixture between the, the sugar and uh, the water itself has sediment or solids in it. But that will clear in about an hour. It'll just go to clear and everything. There we go like that. Everything will will go as sediment to the bottom of the of the uh, vase. I think I got space for some more. I'll put some more white. So I'm just gonna see if I can fit. Nope. So what we'll do is just trim off at an angle. Trim off and fill fill space. Right. There we go, like that. Okay. Look at that. It's coming together. time ago I had a girlfriend tell me that she didn't want flowers not to give her flowers because they just die anyway it's a waste of money I strongly disagree with that 
strongly disagree with that. I never gave her flowers again, but I strongly disagree with that. Flowers in your home, they beautify. It's a, a nice visual. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, some of these are gonna to be too short to touch the water and that's okay. They're dying anyway, but they'll last another few days to a week. Doesn't matter. The focus is that we're making something nice to look at and that gives off a, a good aroma in your home. I, I think that's enough. Yeah, all right. So there we go, look at that. Boom. Yep. And if you don't happen to like the vase, that's okay, I like it. But if you didn't happen to like it and you wanted to use a smaller one, and sometimes I use uh, glasses. This is a drinking glass. In fact, I'll do that right now. That was a glass that I had the orange in. Let me rinse that out real quick. So you can do whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna cut some. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that actually is gonna look pretty cool. Let's cut the length a little bit shorter. In fact, I've got an even better idea. We're gonna use some of our plant food. Put that in the base. Then I'm going to place this there like that. Slide another one in there like this. There we go like that. The third in like this, all right? Okay, we'll put a fourth on the top in the center and I'll do it as a lavender. Like this, just for the sake of contrast. I think I can fit a fourth one in there as a white. Yep, I can fit a fourth one in there. There we go. And then a lavender on the top. Boom. So yes, it'll die. That will die in a few days. But over these next few days, we'll have that as a nice visual. And then they'll get recycled. All right, so I think that's it. Got four little mini projects. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with these. Maybe hang these on a wall or something. Hang them upside down or something like that. I don't know, figure it out later. But we've got this plant resurrected. We've got our, this is gonna dry and be a display. And these two will continue to break down and die and that's okay. We'll just put them in the heat and I've got some more left over that I'll make use of. And that's it. So that's Henry and Henry for your, uh, your weekend project. Uh, it's actually, it's a snow day today, so it's Friday. It's a snow day today from school, so I figured, hey Henry, let's do a little quick side mission. That's about it. If you have any questions or comments, add them on in. Thank you.